Now, many of you know Rustelli Meats on QVC, our most popular meat program here at QVC, best selling meat program here at QVC, and one of their products they bring to us, which is one of my favorites, is their premium pork ribeye steak. Now, we know what a beef ribeye is. A beef ribeye comes from the prime rib roast and it's heavily marbled, and all that marbling equals great flavor. So now imagine those same characteristics in a pork steak. Now, don't call this one a pork chop, you'll hurt its feelings because it's not a pork chop. This is a pork steak. Tender, you can cut it with a fork once it's been prepared. You're also going to love how incredibly juicy and flavorful. I've eaten these before without a speck of seasoning on them, and they are perfect. Now, I'll let you know, we just debuted this yesterday. And since that time, 2,400 have been ordered. We have only 600 total remaining for you to order. And the price goes away end of day tomorrow. That is, if we make it that far. My guess is we won't make it that far with already 2,400 of these out the door. And holding on that shop for a minute, how many of these do you get? 20 of them. Are they individually wrapped? You bet they are. So you just pick up what you need as you need it, thaw it out, pan sear it, barbecue it on the grill, uh, sear it on top of the stove, finish it in the oven. However you want to prepare these, they are perfect. In fact, I love these so much I sent them to my mom one year for her birthday, which I know sounds a little unusual. Why, why wouldn't I send flowers? Because Easter and her birthday are very close together, so I try not to do flowers for every occasion. And I know mom loves to eat because I get my love of food from her, so I sent her these pork steaks and she fell in love. This is something that is so, so perfect. The man that makes all things Rustelli possible is our own personal butcher, Ray Rustelli, a man I call Mr. Rustelli, joining us now to tell us more about these pork ribeye, premium pork ribeye steaks. And Mr. Rustelli, very popular already, and that doesn't surprise me, not one little bit. They are, David, and you explained it so well. In fact, I, I have a feeling you were probably a butcher in your previous life because <laughs> you're right about that prime rib. That prime rib of beef, which is so incredibly marbled because it is the rib, we've taken the same thing from pork. So I want to show you. We've taken this beautiful, just beautiful pork ribeye, and after uh, bringing this in, and again, it comes from family farms from the Pennsylvania Dutch country. I want to show you what this ribeye looks like. It's just like a ribeye steak, except... It's pork. And that marbling that you see in there, that's oh. the marbling, David, that gives you the tenderness. It gives you the flavor. It gives you the juiciness. And as you said, can cut with a fork. But David, for, for 45 years, the folks who've come into the butcher shop, they, I, 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 I learn all kinds of things when they get into the butcher shop. I know the families, the birthdays, but there's always the same question I get every time they come in. And it is, Ray, give me something different for dinner tonight I can bring home. Well, this is something really different just as a steak but when you start thinking about all the things that you can do with this between kebabs, fajitas, uh, a pork fried steak, a pork cutlet, and of course, your bourbon glazed pork chops, David, which we made, which has actually become my family's favorites because their simpleness comes right from your, your cookbook. Um, and I will tell you that this product, this recipe that you've developed for this it is just incredible. I wish you were here to smell this and taste this, David. Oh. Um, although you've created it, so you really know what it is all about. Oh, my word, yes. And if <clears throat> I'm not mistaken, I believe those are the bourbon glazed pork chops, right? That is right. That's your bourbon glazed pork chops. Yeah, yes. and but we're not going to call these pork chops. They're pork steaks. No. <laughs> pork That's right. Steaks. Well, hurt its feelings. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> word. <laughs> it is unbelievably delicious. And when I tell you that this is so tender, you'll cut it with a fork, and everywhere you see that marbling, you see flavor. Now, you're going to see a close up here. There we go. Very nice. Thank you. This is gorgeous. All that marbling you see there, look at how Ray is able to take. Now, granted, he's got a very sharp knife, but look at how easily it glides through this steak. That steak and, cuts like butter. And let me show you what I've just done with this, David, because I just made these for my grandkids, and I thought, you know what? I've got to show our QVC guests. These come from this pork ribeye, which means. They're just like boneless spare ribs. So all oh. I do is I took one of them. I cut it into five beautiful boneless spare ribs. Mm -hmm. All I'm going to do is dip this in my barbecue sauce because I just want to get them really nice uh -huh. and covered. I got, a, I got a hot skillet going here. And literally in probably three to four minutes, David, we're going to have the most incredible boneless spare ribs because this product is so versatile. It's oh. so easy for us to do just a pork chop or a pork steak. 
or oh, like I'm doing Ray, right now. Those look amazing, this, sir. I, and, amazing. And David, simple and really simple, right? I just slice through them. You saw me slice them. Yes, you saw we me did. put it in barbecue sauce, and that's how simple this is. And I oh. like simple, as you well know. Well, simple is good. I mean, you supply us with what I think is the world's best meat, and then we have a simple method, and then all that adds up to one good fast dinner. <laughs> On the, on the dinner table. I need to let you know we started this show with 600 of these left to go around. We now have fewer than 500 to go around. These are going very, very quickly, and everybody is loving them. Ray, real quickly, because you get 20 here, how long can we expect these to last in the freezer for us? So, David, each one of these are individually vacuum packed. And what's what's really important about that, that is that it's going to last for up to 12 months. So when they come to you, just take them out of the box, stick them in every nook and cranny of your freezer, because you're going to want to use this for all the different things that I've done here today. Kebabs, fajitas, schnitzels, cutlets, parmesans, fajitas. I mean, it, it's endless, but 12 months. And what I always like to do, Dave, and I always recommend with every piece of meat, whether it's beef or pork or chicken, is let it thaw in your refrigerator, you know, the day before in this package. Now, if you get in a pinch, like I often do, and I forget to pull it out, I just take it out of my freezer, drop this in cold water, let cold water run over it for about 15 minutes, and then it's completely thawed. And then, of course, open the package, take it out, let it get the room temperature, and then you're ready to cook. As simple as that. Ray, you may be wondering why I'm not talking. It's because I'm ordering. I have my phone right here. <laughs> and I want to make sure that I get mine before these sell out. This is going very quickly. We have fewer than 450 to go around out of the 600 we began the show with. And place order now. Bang. Done. <laughs> All right, ding, ding, it just said yay, we received your order. Uh, this is fantastic. You're going to love these. I tell you, from the first time I tasted these on the air, I was um, just in love with the flavor, the tenderness. Now, Ray is going to show you, I believe he's got some finished samples there, and he'll show you how tender they are, but also how juicy they are. And you're going to see. Now, Ray, educate us a bit, because you are a personal butcher. There was a time when we had to cook pork, really, what I would say, to death. The, that's, that's not right. the case anymore. We can we can go a little no. lower. Talk to us about internal temp. That's that's true. So it used to be you had to you had to really cook your pork to 165. Now just get your internal temp to 145. You want to get this little pinkish hue. Look at the moisture that's inside this pork chop or this ribeye steak, I should say. Mm. And that's because it's premium pork. It comes from the Pennsylvania Dutch country, and you know. Being a butcher, folks, trust me. Well, I've got to trust the farmers that bring us the great livestock. And this is something special. But, David, it's not just juicy. Watch watch this with a fork. Now, I'm going to take a nice thick slice. I'm going to oh. take two slices just like this. I mean, look how beautiful that is. But with a fork, I'm going to go right through the center now of it. Now, watch this, folks. Look at, look look at, at this. this. Right through the center. Oh, with a my fork. word. If that doesn't this make is... a believer out of you, I don't know what else we can say or do. It is. It's just that simple. So whether you're going to do it as a steak, like I did oh, here, David, or whether you're going to do it, so and I know good. this is one of your favorites, David. I've, it is I've, one of my most favorites. <laughs> oh, my word. And it's lunchtime, Ray. You're killing me. It, well, I, you know, I've, I've taken one and pounded it out. So I want you to see the size of this, right? This is a full, this is six ounces, oh. but because it's got no fat on it and it is completely boneless. Right there. Right? All we do is then take some of our country gravy. Yes, right please. On top. Oh, you yes. Know, it's got something. Yes. It's so, oh, so. Oh, and, and, and right. hit it with some black pepper on the gravy and the that, potatoes. <laughs> so true. Oh, so that's Sunday dinner right there, Ray. It's like you were peeking through our window growing up. Oh, my word. That's crazy. And, David, I've got one more for you that, that happens to be my favorite. I know the schnitzel is, is one of yours, but it this, is, this is one of mine is the parm, right? So if you take a look at the parm, and all I did was I took one of our one of our, our pork cutlets that has already been cooked, um, and I just stuck this in a casserole dish. And look at this, this is this is one piece. Out of a casserole dish, right, I've put some mozzarella, some Parmesan cheese on top, and of course, it's gravy in my house. Um, put some gravy in there, and, and again, look at the size of this. This is one piece, that right? so good. But, yeah, but here's what I want to show you, David. Even as big as this is, look, with a fork, I'm going to go right through the center, the very center of this pork oh, cutlet. Oh, Mr. Ricelli, that is crazy delicious. And easy, right? Because you know me, I just want to make oh. it fast, easy, simple. And that's why I always try to take advantage of your shortcuts, David. They are wonderful. And I, I actually love doing it. That's why our, your bourbon glazed pork chops here. 
Oh, well, Ray, I am a huge fan, as you know, and a big, big fan of your brand. And these pork chops, they're my bourbon glazed pork chops that, um, well, pork steaks in this case, uh, <laughs> that you can make from my latest cookbook. Uh, we do have auto delivery on this. So if you're signing up for uh, a delivery, what I would very highly encourage is the auto delivery because here's what's going to happen. Every 90 days for one year, we will ship to you, and Mr. Rostelli promises to give you the same price you're paying today, the today's bonus buy price. Now, that price expires end of day tomorrow. If any of these are left, I don't think that's going to happen. But if you offer auto delivery today, and we all know how things are, are, are increasing in price right now. It's a little bit crazy, right? And you go to the supermarket, and there are empty shelves, the whole nine yards. This is something that Mr. Rostelli is going to guarantee to deliver to you every 90 days for one year. He sources these from the Pennsylvania Dutch country of Pennsylvania, the Amish areas, and all those areas where they where this kind of thing is fresh and delicious and perfect. And I need to let you know, we started this show with 600. We have fewer than. 250. Mr. Rostelli, can we see the raw product again? Can you show us um, where these David. are cut from? Because they're cut from, uh, when you think of a pork ribeye, I want you to think of a beef ribeye that comes from the prime rib roast. Now, this is the pork ribeye, and I'll let the expert explain. Yes, so we take this ribeye, and of course, the pork ribeye is just like the beef ribeye, David. It's full of, of moisture, it's full of marble, and that marble is what makes it tender. The difference is with pork, we do not want to age it. We want to take pork that's as fresh as could be. And that's one of the reasons why we pull it from the Pennsylvania Dutch country. They're people I've known forever, but it's a short trip right to my butcher shop. We then cut them. And once we cut them, David, I want you to see what the steak looks like because it's really important for you to be able to see the quality in the steak. I mean, oh. look at this. This is the ribeyes. You remember, there's the deckle down at the bottom. There's the center on top. But that marbling that you see in there is what makes this so, so special. So each one is individually vacuum packed. We want to make sure that when you get this at home, food safety is of utmost important to us. So it's been blast frozen the minute we package it and cut it for you, David, so that it's going to last for you. But the thing that you'll find is that when it becomes a staple in your freezer, you're going to do what I did, right? You're going to try David's recipe, bourbon glaze. You're oh. going to try the schnitzels, the steaks, the, the fajitas. But you know what else? How about just a pork chop, David? How about just a breaded pork chop, which I did in the air fryer? So the air fryer at 375, all I did was breaded this chop. I want to show you this. This is a beautiful breaded. Now, I have to call it a chop here, and stuff, but I want you to look at how beautiful this is inside, right? Now, Ray, this is, I'm going to you tell you another idea, and I love the breaded idea, but if you were looking to cut, if you want to make a, a, a lower carb dish, what I have done with these before is I take the raw thawed pork steak, dip it in a little beaten egg, and then dip it in ground Parmesan cheese, and I coat it oh. on both sides, just the cheese, no breading, and then I That's... put a little olive oil in the skillet, and I brown the cheese and partially cook the steak and then finish it in the oven. And that's, Ray, it is so that sounds tender, incredible. so good. And you don't put a speck of salt on it because the cheese has plenty of salt in it. You can put a little black pepper if you want to. And <laughs> I um, think that's gonna we're gonna be trying that. And, oh, it's so good, Ray. And if you want to do a little mixture of um, a butter and olive oil, no, olive oil is a is a better fat. But if you're looking to uh, you know try to uh, really be uh, calorie conscious, but it is delightful. And the breading, you can buy a box season breading. You can make your own breading. You can buy a box of panko if you like. Uh, I mean, whatever. But look how Mr. Rosselli is able to cut that with a fork. I just ordered my set because when these come, I want to be able to enjoy these delicious steaks. And there's so many different ways to work with them. And I love that idea of the pork uh, boneless pork spare rib with the, just the barbecue and the, sauce. Oh, and they're. They're starting to caramelize now, David, so they'll be finished in just a few minutes. And Ooh. think about think about it. You've got something that's going to be uh, incredibly tender. Um, and for me, I always look at things like this, especially for my grandkids, because, you know, number one, I want to make sure there's no bone in it. Number two, I want to sure. make sure it's simple and it's it's and it and it has it has just a simple bite. So for for them, they love it. Um, for me, I love it because I know I'm giving them something really, really good for them. Oh. And at the same time. 
tasty. And I always, I always ask for that again. Poppy, when are you cooking then spare ribs again? So now <laughs> it's now it's schnitzels and, and your bourbon glazed chops and our fajitas. There's so much to do. And that's why I love this product so oh, much. Oh, my goodness. I love it that they call you Poppy. And so <laughs> this is fantastic. You're getting 20 of these generous six-ounce steaks. So this is something that 